After we left those rams, they actually started to move and feed into the basin that they were bedded down on. And we came up the mountain and came over the top. And now we got a view of a lot more country, but all we picked up is one lone young ram, but there's a lot of country to cover in here. So we're gonna keep covering it. It's chilly though, even though the sun's kind of out, it's for, the wind is raw. The snow conditions are about as bad as they get because there's just so many white spots all over the place. But the good thing is these sheep, they're really yellow. I think this rock that they're living in, it's a lot of dirt in it and they're not super white. That's a good thing. It's just a matter of putting in the hours behind the glass and putting in some miles on our feet and eventually it'll all work out. It's been a cold day up on the mountain. We spotted those rams early this morning and we've been kind of keeping an eye on them but spent the day right up top. Right now we're gonna drop down into the valley, find ourselves a place to camp for the night. It's starting to get really cold and the sun's going down. Yeah, it's been a great day, seeing some rams. Back up tomorrow morning, bright and early. I'm gonna climb uh, another mountain to the north and see if we can't find any rams over there. So right now, we were coming down the mountain and where we were looking at camping, all of a sudden, we see this grizzly tear out across. He dropped down into the drainage and he ran up the other side of the mountain. And now he's just standing there. He's 465 yards away. Beautiful bear. We're here for sheep. So this is a really tough call. It's a nice coat. It's a good sized mountain grizzly. No, nope, we're gonna lose him. Is he gone? That's okay. That's what indecision does. <laughs> you're on a sheep hunt and something like that happens and you know, you're not mentally prepared. That was meant to be. And I'm 100% fine with that. Sometimes in the mountains, you don't get to get at it as soon as you want to. You know, we woke up this morning and it was completely fogged in and low cloud all through the valley. Couldn't see anything. It's turning out to open up, which is great. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get on the mountain behind us and that has a series of three peaks and we're just gonna, you know, get up and glass each one of those drainages and hopefully find something in there. That's the plan for today. It was a long night in the tents and it's always good to get legs moving again. So that's what we're looking forward to right now. A little bit of snow in the air. So the cloud level seems to be sticking around, you know, right at the, the tops. So there's no point in climbing up into that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna change the plan a bit, drop down into the valley and do a big loop around. And then hopefully by this afternoon, these clouds lift and we can climb the mountain from the other side. We just have to switch the plan up as the weather dictates. We have to be hunting now all the time, looking back, looking back. Because every drainage that we hit, we gotta look back into them. Just not be rushing through this today. There's that bear. That's that bear track right there. We're just moving along this drainage very slowly. Every now and again, pop up to a hill just to try to get, take as much advantage of elevation as we can to cover as much country as we can. But the key today is just slow and methodical and glass as much as we possibly can. That's really, really neat to come across a moose shed right in the middle of the creek. It's obviously been here for I don't know how long, but it looks pristine. So, you know, maybe last winter. That's the first for me. It's 
turned out to be a beautiful day. Actually, when the sun comes out and hits you, it's really nice, and what's happening is it's starting to melt some of the snow on the hills, which is a good thing. We're starting to see a little bit more sign on this ridge, some beds and just more sheep activity, and that's what we're, that's what we're hoping for. So we haven't seen any sheep today at all, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna head down this ridge and over to the next mountain and open up some new terrain for us to glass. We're gonna keep moving and see what we can do. A lot of grizzly bears in this country. We saw one yesterday, saw one today, and now we're seeing tracks here up on this mountain that we've been on all day. Expected to see some sheep today, but so that means there's a lot of predators in this country. Everybody's hunting this time of year. That's just the competition. Sun's starting to go down and we are gonna do the same. We're gonna head off the top of this mountain and hike back to camp. It turned out to be a beautiful day, it's just cold. Saw wolves, grizzly bear, everything but sheep today. Moose, yeah, we're just gonna head back to camp and make a game plan for tomorrow. Do it all over again. One of the things that I like to do is traveling in steep country like this. Walking straight uphill is probably the worst thing that you can do as far as energy management. The zigzag is the most efficient way to travel. Just keeps the, uh, the temperature management at a level that you can maintain. See, in the mountains, the biggest thing that is gonna hurt you is you know, being wet from sweat and, and then cooling off when you get to the top. As we hiked up here, I looked over on the next ridge, on the next mountain, and I saw the ram skylined. And it's the ram that we were watching two days ago. It's really cool to especially see him up on the top of the mountain in the snow. He's a beautiful ram, but he's by himself. I don't see the other three, and I can only see one set of tracks. He's kind of got us pinned down, but we'll try to use the sun to our advantage and just kind of slowly creep our way into this next drainage right beside us here. And then we'll be able to continue up the mountain and be able to kind of keep popping over and taking a look at him, making sure there isn't anything else with him. It's nice and slow. You might not think that, that it's things like how you go up the hill, how you use your poles. Every step that you take adds up to being more efficient and more longevity in the mountains. So it's this total package. It's not just fitness. It's the ability to know how to travel and how to do it properly. It's been another long day of glassing and up on the tops of the mountains and freezing our butts off. For the most part, all day, we've had every piece of clothing that we've had in our bags on. So the temperatures today up top with the wind are just frigid. You know, we're not seeing everything that's here, that's for sure, because as we hike the peaks, we're seeing fresh tracks on the tops of these ridges, but we're not seeing those sheep. We just have to cover more country and glass more, and eventually we'll shake something out of the hills. But we did see that big ram again, or the biggest ram we've seen uh, again, and we watched him for a while. I think he can smell us sometimes. He's sniffing around a bit. Now we're gonna hit one more peak. It's seven o'clock at night, and we're gonna hit one more peak and see what's on the other side. Ooh, that's ugly. Now at the top of the mountain where you can see the whole, the totality of that river that the plan is to run, and there's some interesting sections in it. After spending a little bit of time looking at the maps, I think what we're gonna do tomorrow morning is pack camp up and move to the north. That's just cover some more country that we haven't been able to see from the tops of these mountains. You know, we just have to keep moving and keep glassing and this will give us some new country if we move camp here tomorrow and we'll see what happens.
Now is the tough mile. Nobody cares that it's raining. Nobody cares it's snowing. No one cares it's windy. Let's just go hard for the next three days. No matter what the weather is, just get out into it and maybe we can find those ramps.